Hi, I'm Eric Whitaker, staff for the Joint Legislative Audit and Review Committee. We reviewed the objective and results for a property tax exemption for tribally owned land used for economic development purposes. The legislature enacted the preference in 2014 and stated its intent to create jobs and improve the economic health of tribal communities. Tribal governments manage two types of land. The legal title to trust land is held by the U.S. government, but managed by the tribal governments. Trust land is not subject to state and local property taxation. The legal title for fee land is held by a tribe or tribal member and is generally subject to property taxation. The preference exempts federally recognized Indian tribes in Washington from owing property tax on fee land that is used for economic development purposes. To qualify for the preference, tribes had to acquire the land prior to March 1, 2014. Also, depending on whether the property is outside the reservation and who operates the business on the property, a payment in lieu of property taxation or PILT may be required. A tribe in a county in which the property is located negotiate the PILT agreement. The preference was amended in 2020, and going forward it has a different policy objective, fewer requirements, and no expiration date. This review focused on the 2014 tax preference that was in effect until June 11, 2020. Since 2015, three tribes used the exemption for a total of 10 properties, and at the end of 2019, six properties remained exempt. The total assessed value in 2019 property taxes was nearly $62 million. The four properties no longer utilizing the exemption are now held in trust by the U.S. government. In addition, at least two of the six remaining tax-exempt properties are under review for trust status. Tribal businesses on exempt properties provide economic benefits to surrounding communities, but the tax preference itself likely had little impact. The original ownership requirement of March 2014 may have restricted wider use of the preference. Also, the businesses operating on the exempt properties were established and operating prior to the incentive. So while local governments report that tribes claiming the preference are top employers in their respective jurisdictions, JLARC staff were not able to obtain information about the specific businesses or how tribes allocated the property tax savings. Further, local governments did not track economic and infrastructure related impacts associated with the exempt properties and the businesses located on them. Economic modeling of Emerald Downs, which accounts for 93% of the total assessed value in 2019, suggests that as many as 14 jobs may have been created. Our analysis assumed that the Muckleshoot tribe reinvested the tax savings in its gaming operations. If this was not the case, the estimated job numbers may be different. Finally, our analysis of property tax related revenue changes showed that in 2019, approximately 88% of the savings realized by the tribes were shifted onto other taxpayers, whereas 12% was lost revenue. Most levies were able to absorb the exemptions by increasing the levy rate, thereby shifting the tribal tax savings to other taxpayers. Those levies already at their statutory maximum could not increase to absorb lost revenues. King County, the only county to negotiate a PILT agreement with the tribe, received $423,000 in PILT payments from the Muckleshoot Indian Tribe in 2019. As mentioned, the legislature amended this preference in 2020. In particular, the public policy objective from the 2014 legislation is now superseded by the new 2020 objective to treat tribal and non-tribal governments the same for property tax purposes. Given that change to an equity objective, the legislative auditor recommends that the legislature continue the preference as amended in 2020. The Citizen Commission for the Performance and Measurement of Tax Preferences should consider whether the preference is critical to the tax structure. If so, it will be excluded from future tax preference reviews. Please visit our website for more on this and other tax preference reviews.